A very happy Monday evening to you all. Welcome into the American Digital Network studio. I'm Kyle Coulter. It was an exciting week of women's basketball across the conference, and with it came some notable performers. None more so than this week's Player of the Week, Kobe Morgan. Morgan was more like a green tsunami for Tulane this past week, as she averaged 10 rebounds and over 27 points per game. Morgan scored a career-high 35 points and registered a career-best 12 boards in a comeback win over Cincinnati on Saturday. The junior scored all 12 of Tulane's points in the first quarter and 10 of her team's 13 in the fourth. That win could turn out to be crucial as both the Bearcats and the Green Wave are deadlocked in the standings. Going back to back like she's on the cover of Lethal Weapon is this week's freshman of the week, Suge Dixon. Dixon averaged over 15 and a half points and over seven boards per game in a one and one week for the Golden Hurricane. Her 20 points, nine rebounds and four assists propelled Tulsa to a key conference victory over SMU on Saturday. There were plenty of other notable performers from this past week and they find themselves on the honor roll. UCF guard Zakira Lewis tied a career high, scoring 26 points in a narrow loss to Memphis. She also contributed 15 points in a game high three steals in a win over Cincinnati. Making her season debut on the honor roll, and rightfully so, is Memphis guard Bria Elmore. The junior leads the Tigers in scoring in conference play and continued that trend, putting up 22 points in a win over UCF. The USF Bulls picked up a pair of conference wins this past week, and leading the charge was who else? Kitty Aloxa. The lights out Latvian led the Bulls in scoring in both games, putting up 28 points against SMU and 16 in a nail-biter against Temple. Speaking of the Owls, Fionda Fitzgerald finds herself on the honor roll once again after averaging 13 and a half points and over seven boards in a one and one week for TU. The senior was a catalyst in the Owls' 63-53 win over Penn, tallying 13 points and a team-high seven assists to give Temple their first Big Five championship since the 2010-2011 season. And last but certainly not least, Gabby Williams was about as dominant as you can be in UConn's two wins over ECU and Houston. Against the Pirates, Williams notched her first career triple-double with 16 points, 16 boards, and 10 assists. Oh, and she also had two blocks and two steals to go along with that as well. Big one coming up on Wednesday for the Huskies as they travel to Philly to take on Temple. And that will do it for us here at the ADN Studio. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Kyle Coulter. Have a great night, everybody.